Now I have all my pieces laid out here. We we're done with the dados and the miters. I have a bottom tape, glue, and a few rulers to help me clean up. I've also aligned them on the table. So I have my number three, four, five, and six. And if you didn't write numbers on them, kept track, just look at your grain pattern and make sure that it's, it all runs together. That's what's important. We've taken a lot of caution up to this time to keep that sequence. And even when I was sanding it off, I wrote underneath one and two so that I could remember where they go. So in sequence, this goes right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's dry fit together first. The two miters kiss and they flushed up right there. So if you need to put a ruler or a block of wood or something there to help you get that in alignment, do so. The tape roll has a razor blade right there. Ouch and you just drag it across. We put one high. We put one low. And then one all the way down it. Now watch how I do this. Cinch it down and then drag it. And look at my finger back here. <coughs> my thumb is on there so that I can stop it from out rolling out more. And then I can push, pull it taut. Like, see how it's, I'm stretching it just a little bit and lay it down and then cut it. That way it lays nice and flat without wrinkles. Now we have to cinch it down really well. And if you miss this step, it'll just come loose and you'll have to do it again. So with your fingernails, not just with the pads of your hands. That does not do it. It has to be with your fingernails. And if you don't like using your fingernails, you can use a six inch rule, or you can use a block of wood. Get something from the garbage can and use that. Really work that tape down. So that the adhesive is activated. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna pull it up and I fold it. Boom. Now look at that joint. Nice, tight miter joint. So we are trying to fool our viewers into thinking that this is one solid leg, one solid block which it is not, but it looks like it from the outside because that joint is so good. If you have an open miter, gaps, that means something is wrong with your cut and needs to be fixed. We want a nice, tight seam. I'll lay it back out and let's do the other one. Cleaning off any dust so the tape sticks better. The miters want to be kissing and flush on top. Flush on top, touching. High and low, and then straight down the middle. Attach it, drag it, hold it with your thumb tight so that it stretches a little bit and lays down nice. And then I got a little bit of a fold here, which is okay. I can live with that. And I want as least amount as possible. And then really 
work that adhesive so that it sticks. Fingernails, six inch rule, 12 inch rule or a board. Okay, now watch the magic. Bring it down off the table and I'm just gonna roll it over. See that? Woo! Now let's check our bottom and make sure it fits. Your miter goes from right there where the miter and the dado meet. The distance from there to the other side, that distance is what this needs to be, or this needs to be slightly less than that. So we can do it by measuring it, or I'm just gonna put it in there. And I'm gonna line up this side with my mark, and let's look at this side. So this is about an eighth inch less, and that works. As long as it fits inside this where the miter is, that's going to work just fine. If it's longer than that, the bottom is longer than that dado, we have to cut it down. And I would make a mark and then go over on the panel saw and cut off what you need to. Now the same thing goes on this one. The bottom can only go from there to there or a little bit less. So let's check this one out. On my mark there and that one ooh, it's I think it's a little bit heavy so I'm gonna make a mark take off about a sixteenth of an inch right about there I'm gonna go trim that on the table saw all the way along that and then I'll come back and refit it Now it's about a sixteenth less, and that's where I want it. about this thing falling over. It's a little easier to do this with somebody helping you. I'm gonna grab a clamp and set it up there. I'm also going to get a couple of pieces of tape ready. Temporarily. 
So I'm lining this up flush and look at this seam. Oh, that's good seam. And this is the way you have to tape the seam. Cinch it down, bring that corner together and then pull this tape, stretch it. And I'm gonna do that all along this edge when I glue it. Right now I'm just a dry fit, so I wanna make sure it fits, but look at that seam, beautiful. No gaps. That looks great, let's check the other side. Flush here, want this tight. Getting rid of dust, cinch it down on the top. Notice I'm using my fingernails and then stretch that tape, pull it down. And that's gonna be a great seam. I'm gonna do that all the way along when we glue it. It's a gorgeous looking blanket chest. So these corners have already been taped and when we fold them, it puts pressure on it, keeps it tight. These two, we have to tape ourselves and put the tight tape and make it tight as we go. So that looks great. I'm going to lay it down, open it up, glue on it, and tape it. Now, if you can do this with another person, it's much easier. We have a lot to tape, and we have to do so pretty quickly. It can be done alone, though, just like I'm going to do it. Put a bead along the dado. Also this one. The bottom gets glued in all the way around. I'm also going to put a bead right down the miter. And I think that's going to be the right amount. That'll take care of those two corners. Now I'm going to need some on this corner also. This one I'm going to apply with my finger and get some coverage. I especially want to put it towards this edge, right? When it's straight up, it's gonna to wanna to run down because of gravity. And so I'm, I'm more worried about this edge than I am about that edge. I think it's going to squeeze out down without any problem. here and as I close this I want you to watch how that glue just look at that 
That spread so nice. Beautiful. Okay, we'll do the other side now. And I'm gonna put it between two clamps. Hold it for me. Okay. And that. Glue's already in there. For the miter, the glue is on that side. A little temporary hold. Other side. Okay. Flush it here, cinch it down. Pull the tape so it stretches. Now notice how it's squeezing out. That's good. That means I'm putting enough pressure on it. Now I have to, I have to cover this edge with tape. Cinch it down. Pull the tape tight. If you just lay it on there, it's not good enough. down, pull the tape, and cinch it down again. Pull it, and look at this corner, make sure it's coming together tight. That looks beautiful. So I like to hold it with one hand, take it, my palm down, and I can make that stretch. That's what I want to do. Okay, now let's focus on the other side. Checking my joints. Over here, look. So nice. Beautiful. These are my best. So nice. And then last here. Push on top. Okay, now we gotta turn our attention inside and clean up the mess. I'm gonna turn it over and come look. Right, so that's that's the glue I want to get rid of. So I'm gonna go get me a rag and clean it out really well. And then I'm gonna use a six inch ruler or a 12 inch ruler and just peel it out. It's okay if it gels. In fact, I kind of like it to gel just a little bit. Take about five minutes and let it solidify just a little bit, makes it easier to take out. I'm gonna go find me a rag. Now, I'm really careful about using this rag inside the blanket chest because this has glue in it too, and you just spread it everywhere. So mostly I'm just gonna use this to wipe off on, and then I'll use a clean paper towel or something to, to wipe it up. Nice. So easy that comes out. Notice it's not gushing with glue either, like we were 
we were somewhat sparing. It's covering, but it's not gushing. And I think I'm gonna go get wet the paper towel down and use that because this doesn't have glue in it. Okay, now a dry one. That'll look great when it's dry. I gotta do that to all four corners.